uh, one member every six women in the country, according to the Justice Department, have been assaulted. And do you think that that's because women are reporting it more, there's greater awareness, or because the incidents of crime are increasing? I think uh, the reporting rate has gone up. That's gone up by about a third, but still only about four out of every ten women report. Um, so, so it's still a stigma. It's still, still, a, a, yeah. it's still a taboo. Mm -hmm. They feel embarrassed mm -hmm. about going to and law enforcement. And sometimes their experience in the criminal justice system is has not been bad, good. Yeah. And that deters more women from coming forward. They see that. Um, and tell, tell me about our, uh, our appropriations item. Tell me about what uh, we're trying to do. Well, about half the victims are under 18. And so a couple of years ago, we, we saw this, this big trend of girls, after their attack, they're going online and talking about what happened to them. But they're going to, to MySpace, to blogs, wow. you know, all these places that are pouring their heart out not, without really understanding that, that five years from now, they're going to go for the first job and this is all going to be And this is all going to be, yes. Yeah. So we decided we really needed to build um, a, a secure way for them to get help online. So we built an online hotline that became the web's first secure counseling. So hotline. it's confidential, because it's secure. Yeah. Yeah. That's, That's wonderful. It doesn't retain transcripts of conversation. Yeah. That's great. And it's being used heavily by teens. Um, people in remote areas too find it very useful if you're far from a rape crisis center or maybe you're uncomfortable picking up the phone because you're a man or for whatever or you're in a small town say um, it's a very very good alternative to the telephone hotline which we also operate. How many how many kids are uh, are on there already? Yeah. Well, just we have about out. eleven thousand and we're just starting yeah. out. Yeah. Um, and, uh, and it's bringing, they're overwhelmingly saying they never would have picked up the phone. You know, this, this is a generation that they want to do everything online. Online, that's right. So you're using the new generation technology to reach the, the kids yep. and make sure that they're doing it in a safe way, a secure environment, yep. and not letting a lot of their personal information get on the internet. Right, yeah. and we have trained volunteers helping them as opposed to just the random person they might talk to on the web. Well, hour. thank you so yeah. much because you are, you've got a tough job. I mean, I, I just can't imagine uh, having to deal with rape, abuse, incest every day. It's, uh, thank goodness for you. You're doing the Lord's work on earth. Yeah. Well, we're very well, we grateful for our family. Yeah. Well, you. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm just a, a humble servant, mm -hmm. but uh, glad to help. About, um, about two-thirds of our funding is, is private sector, but the federal support is really crucial to what we do. We we'll really, keep we fighting.